What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the German Bear Podcast and in today's film room episode I want to take a look at one of the biggest additions to the Chicago Bears defense with defensive lineman Demarcus Walker. The Chicago Bears really struggled in 2022 with getting pressure on opposing quarterbacks and also stopping the run. So overall the defensive line was a problem for the Bears moving forward and even though they had a pretty young defensive line, we still had to add some help. Chicago Bears already added interior defensive lineman Andrew Billings as a run-stuffing specialist, and also as a pass rusher, they added Rasheem Green. If you want to, feel free to check out those film room episodes, those film breakdowns that I did about those guys. would really appreciate it. But today, it's going to be all about one more addition that the Bears made a couple of months back now in Demarcus Walker, who's going to be a very key rotational piece for the Chicago Bears, and probably a starter at edge at the moment but he's a very versatile player that you can use in several different spots we'll talk about that a little bit more throughout today's video but it's a really interesting ad today that we want to look at today and i can't wait to break this film down for you guys but with that being said let's actually start off with the contract details he signed a three-year 21 million dollar contract and 50 million 650 thousand of those dollars are guaranteed he has a annual average salary of seven million dollars now for the chicago bears but what's really great about the deal is that if he doesn't perform, the Chicago Bears can get out of that deal as early as 2025. So it's basically a two-year deal. And if he does perform well, the Bears can keep him for one more year. Or if he doesn't, they can get rid of him pretty easily. So overall for his deal, I feel like for $7 million overall, it's a really great deal. I will talk about it more in the conclusion. But it's a really nice addition by the Chicago Bears for that money. As for stats in 2022 and himself as well, he's a defensive lineman that's six foot four turn 80 pounds and is 28 years old at the moment he will be 29 by the start of the season he was drafted in the 2017 nfl draft in the second round by the denver broncos as for last year he had his breakout season with the tennessee titans as a member of their defensive line rotation let's get into the stats a little bit as i said he was a key rotational piece he played 37 percent of the defensive snaps for the tennessee titans defensive line and has appeared in all 17 games for them, started six of those, had a career high seven sacks. The best stat before that was 4.5 in 2024 Denver, but seven sacks in 2022 was his career high. Had 32 combined tackles, 10 TFLs, and also 16 quarterback hits. As for some of his advanced stats, he had 17 pressures, seven quarterback knockdowns, and two quarterback hurries as well. And Walker is now set to take over a bigger role as a starter for the Chicago Bears in 2023. And we want to now find out where he's going to play and how good he will be. And one of DeMarcus Walker's biggest abilities is definitely to pressure the quarterback. That's why we want to look at the pass rush ability first of all. And what's really key to that is his versatility because he can bring pressure from every single spot basically on the defensive line. When he played for the Tennessee Titans in 2022, he basically played everything from zero technique out to wide nine, which is very, very impressive and something I would love for the Chicago Bears in 2023, definitely. And that's really, really great for him as an ability. We'll see how he lines up in several spots throughout today's film room episode but that's what I really loved about him as for what he does so well as a pass rusher he has really great quickness off the snap I love the power in his core he has very quick hands to work offensive linemen and then really his go-to pass rush move is a very nasty swim move that's where he wins the most that's where most of his sacks came from after his nasty great swim move that he does and then in addition to that, he also has a very good counter move to pair with his swim move too, which is very important. And then what I really loved on tape two was that he sets up stunts well and then just his relentlessness. Like right now, he's already occurring as a very vocal voice at training camp for the Chicago Bears. It looks like he's going to be a true leader for the Chicago Bears D-line and his relentlessness and constant pursuit, always moving, definitely showed that on field as well. Great character guy that really puts his effort and heart into football 
football. That's what we need for Chicago. That what really fits um, at every Flusus hits principle. And with that, let's now get into the place. One example for quickness and great hands was against the Texans, where he had really a great get off on the play. He was lined up as a four eye on that play. That's where he lined up mostly throughout tape, though. So or there, that was where he was most effective at at four eye. But he had good plays at several spots that he played in. And there he attacks the oversetting guard vertically, which I love first of all. And then he shows great change of direction with a beautiful crossover move like in basketball and just beats him with great hands and his like I said, signature swim move on that play, and then closes in fast for a big sack against Davis Mills. Absolutely love that play. That was a picture perfect rush by him, setting it up vertically and then getting around the offensive lineman, just boom, hands on the shoulders, swimming above him. That was a great move right there. And then another one against the Texans in the same game, once again at 4-I against the same guard. And this is where he really impressed me because right there, he mixes it up. Again, very vertical attack fast right there. And then he plays the leverage well. And this time does the swim move, but not to the right and that crossover move to the right. But this time he actually changes it up, gives him the same vertical look, and then gives him the swim move to the left great play once again but this time davis mills got the ball out but he pressured him nice there and that was a great rush example just to show that he will change it up he will give you the same looks but then executes the rush differently that was really big and evident on tape right away and then another example for his hands and also his nasty swim move was against the kansas city chiefs against trey smith very good guard right we all know him and there he gets well off the line once again hands quicker than trey smith's hands hands and then just wins within one second forces Mahomes to throw the ball away that's another big play by DeMarcus Walker right there from interior defensive line spots and his swim move is just absolutely nasty I truly love it and I'm excited to see how he can perform that move on the Chicago Bears D-line moving forward and then another play that I really had to show was against the Denver Broncos this time not for I but at Ford Tech and there I just love how he sells the vertical stem once again and and just a punch from the guard completely misses him. He's just way quicker than the punch and then works through a double team. That's a great ability too, right? Fighting off a double team and then forces Russell Wilson to throw the ball away. So overall, his swim move paired with his quickness out of the pocket is absolutely beautiful to watch. But not only does he win with that weight, right? He has also another ability that is evident on tape and that was definitely his power and his bull rush. And one example for that power and his bull rush was against the Cincinnati Bengals, where he this time was lined up again at 4-I, and he sets up a stunt for the linebacker to rush through, trying to generate a gap right there. So there's his stunt ability, right? But what he does so well is that he takes all of his momentum with him and then just has a great first punch on the center's chest and then just drives him backwards into Joe Burrow for a sack. And that's just a big bull rush win right there on a stunt play, really great play right there by DeMarcus Walker and that's just a counter move that I talked about on earlier with his strengths as a pass rusher what I love to see and then another example for a bull rush was against the Chargers where he sets up the same look as always very vertical stem and then at four eye lined up gets vertical does a crossover back inside and then he sees the chest of the guard exposed and instead of doing a swim move as he always does he this time throws in the bull rush with great power against Zion Johnson rookie from last year one of my favorite offensive linemen uh, that came out of the drought and really dominated him there love that he got the same look this time not changing up the direction but actually changing up the rush move that he did and just bull rushes him pushes him backwards and then sacks Justin Herbert for a big play just absolutely love what he can offer as a counter move right there with the bull rush and then lastly one thing that uh talked about earlier as well the relentlessness just lastly his effort one play there where he was lined up at one technique and he just gets redirected through traffic has great effort on the play never stop moving and yes it's more of a coverage sack but still very nice effort and then just gets rewarded on the play that just really shows character by him that's what we love to see right that's how he's going to fit in with Matt Eberflus as well he's not always going to get the same results the same power on the play the same swim move but he's never going to give up and there will be some effort sacks with a good defense by the Chicago Bears and that will help us too moving forward so loved seeing that effort on that play too but 
The Bears' problems, as we knew, weren't only rush problems. We massively struggled against the run, too, in 2022. And that's why we want to now look at DeMarcus Walker's run defense next. And for his run defense, he's a very solid player too. What does he do well against the run? First of all, he's a pretty good anchor guy. I know he's not the strongest against a double team, right? If he's playing one technique or three technique at times, but he's mostly getting put in these situations on obvious rushdowns, right? To dominate guard and centers. But if he has to actually play the run from an interior spot, he can anchor pretty well. Very powerful hands. His block shedding is really good. And then he really plays the gaps well. Is really patient and and has pretty good eyes too and then lastly as mentioned before with the pass rush he always hustles to the ball one example against the la chargers where he showed power and anchor once again lined up at four eye plays the gaps very cleanly has really good base core strength on that play doesn't get moved at all and then just has the eyes down feel all the time and then as soon as the running back is nearby him he shuts off of the guards block and then just makes a big tackle on a running back to stop him getting into the end zone so that was a big play right there and then another example against the Dallas Cowboys where he this time was lined up at three technique had a very strong core against Tyron Smith and then just moves with the block plays the gap really really well and then just shows once again very good patience great shed against a very good elite offensive tackle for just an important stop right there on the running back. Really love that play. Just once again, moving with the line, let the play develop, and then just at the point of attack, him being disruptive once again for a big stop. Love that play a lot. And then also his ability to stop the run out on the edges. Two plays, one against the Dallas Cowboys where he was in that five technique where he was in a mismatch situation against a tight end. And right there, there it is once again with a very quick swim move, beat him within the first second, very quick penetration on that play and then just flies in there to stop the running back's gain. Love the effort, love the quickness and using the mismatch. You have to win those as a defensive lineman out on the edge and he did so. So that was a great play to see then another one against the Cincinnati Bengals where he was lined up at almost I would say definitely as a wide nine on that play right so another position on the defensive line that he had to fit in and the Bengals were in a very heavy formation with a tackle lined up in the slot basically and he gets redirected by that tackle on that play and then has to pursue basically from the backside but what I love about that play is that it basically shows his explosiveness upfield on that play and then I love his hustle hustle and pursuit to hunt down the running back I think it was Samaj Pirine on that play but really great play right there gets redirected but never stops on the play hustles and chases him down so that was really great to see as well and then you see his ability out on the edges that he will bring to the Chicago Bears too and now we've seen what he can actually do against the pass and against the run for opposing offenses and that now leads us to the final conclusion And in the conclusion, we will talk about how he will actually fit into the Bears defense and what he will bring to the team overall in 2023 and moving forward. First of all, he is the embodiment of versatility. As I said, he can play from zero technique out to wide nine. It's really impressive. But for Alan Williams and Metaver Flues, he will probably be used on edge on early downs I could see that because he's a really good run stuffer out on the edge he will set the edge he will shed fast right he will be fast in the backfield but has his contain still so that's a great ability and then as more obvious pass downs will occur throughout a drive I feel like he's going to be a movable piece for the Chicago Bears defense we still got Dominique Robinson Travis Gibson we got Rasheem Green right a couple of good edges right here in Chicago so you can actually move him around on the defensive line spots and I feel like that's where he's going to be most effective at defensive should never know where the Marcus Walker is going to line up he should be a guy that's going to use advantages of centers guards and tackles throughout his career in Chicago and I'm really excited to see that but he's going to be a very movable piece that gives the defensive flexibility and guarantees fresh legs throughout the defensive rotation and I personally feel like that's a great addition by the Chicago Bears for seven million that's an absolute steal he's going to bring so much to the Chicago Bears defense from leadership to pass rush 
adaptability to really good gap patient run defense too and I'm really really excited about DeMarcus Walker in a Chicago Bears uniform especially hearing after a couple of practices now at training camp how vocal he is and how much of a leader he's going to be so I feel like it's a great steal for the Chicago Bears in this year's free agency a key piece that's going to help the Chicago Bears in 2023 and moving forward and I can't wait to see how it performs on the field but with that being said, that's the end of the episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of the signing of Demarcus Walker and what he's going to bring in 2023 and moving forward. Like and subscribe if you liked the video. Check out Instagram and Twitter if you want to as well. And as always, guys, bear down.